Hi, it's Susan here. I just thought I would take a couple minutes here just to show you how I thin down my Arteza acrylic paints. They are heavy bodied paints, so you'll see in the container here, I just squeezed some out and it looks just like a little lump. And for any daughters, you know that that's just gonna leave some nasty little peaks. So I use this Liquitex pouring medium um, it's a fluid medium and I find this gives me the best results um, for the type of look I want to achieve. Um, so it's about approximately a 50-50 ratio. Um, I start off uh, just giving it a good stir and uh, now we're going to test it out here. Okay, so I've just got a little piece of scrap cardstock here, and um, I think it's always a good idea just to test it out before you start dotting directly on your project. Uh, it'll save you some time in the long run. So the type of dot I want is to be completely round, and also when I yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Um, so it'll be completely round. Uh, and then I also like to practice doing my little swooshes just to see if they're going to be the consistency that I like for swooshing. And by the looks of that, I got that ratio right the very first time. Okay, and as I'm preparing my color palette, I'm just going to make sure all my um, uh, supplies are still in good shape. So I haven't dotted with this one in a couple of days, and it looks like it's gone a little bit thick. Um, you can see inside the container, it's got a little peak, and it's not settling down flat. So when I dot barely see it in the picture there but there we go so when I dot you can see it's got a little pokey bit there and that will dry just like that so there are times where I kind of want this effect like if I'm doing like a sea urchin uh, effect where I want it a little pokey but for what I'm doing today I'm going to want it round and the other clue here is when you walk the dots or your dots are a little more oval shape opposed to round. That's your indicator that it's too thick and your swooshes are just going to be short and stubby like this. Not that that's a bad thing, but for what I'm doing today I want them a little fuller. So I'm just going to add a few drops at a time to mix it up until I get the perfect consistency. Alright, I'm going to test out another sample here, and it's still looking a little bit oval, uh, so I think I'll probably be adding a bit more, we'll see here. Yep, 
Yeah. So this is where I might start just doing one or two drops at a time and this will probably do it. Third time a charm, I think this is going to be just right. You can see the difference in the length of the swoosh. The dots are round. Not anymore. Pop my finger in it. So I have seen lots of people asking how you get nice round three-dimensional dots with the metallic paints and so this will dry flat, pretty, pretty flat, um, might have a little button but if you take your tool and just focus on depositing another layer of paint it starts to build up and will look much more round and you can do this a couple of times without any problem just don't push down hard because you'll change the shape of the dot all you're doing is depositing more paint and there you get that sort of nice three-dimensional puffy dot this will uh, as it dries shrink down a bit but it will still be um, it'll still be raised and uh, have texture and lots of shine because it's metallic. You can also do this with your swooshes. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, so the trick is to sort of load up that first button or dot I should say and then drag it down. You get a nice looking swoosh and you can stop there if you like or if you want to go more dimensional load up your stylus again and you're not actually really touching you're just allowing the paint to flow off the tip of the stylus and you can uh, keep doing that until you get the height and the look that you want and it can really smooth it out really nicely and you can see you've got quite a bit of dimension there and that, that's not for all pieces but some pieces you know if you want a lot of light reflection and texture, you can do that. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you like this little video. Hope you found it informative. And uh, again, thanks for